What a play is it is War Boss Tay up in this mug doing a video today about the iconography and heraldry of the Blood Angels. And in order to do a good video on how to decorate your Blood Angels guy or your squad or your army, whatever you you want, I'm going to have to really go into how Space Marines are decorated in the first place. So this is a video I'm showing you that I recorded, oh, 2011, that's five years ago. And this was a project that I was doing. It was one of my first projects. It was a Space Marine Battalion box set or Battle Force. I did it in the colors of the Blood Angels. I wanted to just see if I could paint a consistent color scheme throughout an entire army. And, <clears throat> excuse me, I did a basing and weathering. And it was just a really cool project that I wanted to do. So I'm going to let this play for a little while. And if you are new to painting and hobbying, and especially with Space Marines, the army in general, you might be forgiven to just wonder, like, what are all these markings on their shoulder pads, on their knee pads, on their armor? What does that all mean? Why are some of their helmets colored a certain way and others not? And so I want to address that because I think that's something that eventually, if you're serious about the hobby or if you play with serious people, it might come up. They might say like, why do you, why do you have your guys painted like this or or like that? Or, or why are you using this kind of heraldry or these transfers? You should be using something else. It's really if you're a stickler for it. But because I do love that side of the hobby, the fluff and the getting accurate, you know, heraldry and markings on, on my dudes, then I wanted, I thought I'd make a video of it. So this is also a video to kind of acknowledge and thank one of my supporters on Patreon, David, who requested a little bit of, of Blood Angels tips and techniques. So for anybody who's interested in seeing how I did this, this project, you can check out my, my Blood Angels videos. I've got a whole bunch of them on YouTube. <clears throat> and I've even got a How to Paint a Blood Angels Assault Marine video using the new color range. So you could definitely check that out. It'll show you how, how to layer the reds and create a very nice looking effect. These older colors, I think they, they had a little bit more of a dusty matte appearance, especially because I wanted to do them in a very kind of battle-worn look. And also, keep in mind, this was uh, five years ago, so my technique was still that of a, a, little, a little war boss back then. But okay, let's talk about insignia and heraldry. So... The thing that all Space Marines kind of adhere to when painting their armor is this thing called the Codex Astartes. And it's like the, the Art of War book. It's like the big Bible of Space Marines in the Warhammer universe. And it basically says this is how all the Space Marine chapters are going to be organized. This is how they're going to ensure that there is never another rebellion like the Horus Heresy that throws the entire race of mankind into uh, Jeopardy again. And one of the things that it lays out besides its restructuring and organizing of the army is how they're going to be identified and marked so that people can tell, or at least the Battle Brothers can tell, which squad they're from, what kind of unit they're in. And that way, if something happened and uh, they're not able to, like if they're, they're found all slaughtered on a planet or something, you could be able to tell who they were because of their markings. So... The Codex Astartes, or I guess the, the Index Astartes, kind of specified that each kind of t squad would have their own little designation. So if you're a tactical squad, you get this arrow, usually pointing up, sometimes a two-pointed arrow going left to right. If you're an assault squad, you get this kind of four, this X arrow, Four, four directional arrow and it could be either all white or it could be filled in with blue and as you take note of these different kind of squad designations also check out how they kind of mark out the number of the squad this would be first squad sixth squad fourth squad fifth squad so there's a number of different ways you can do it they don't all have to be in the same place the skull is another recurring theme we're gonna see in, in a little bit devastator squads are this upside down V and again, you can see the numbers of the squads and the different ways they paint them. You might also notice that the rims of the shoulder pads are painted in different colors. And that's because that indicates which usually which company a Space Marine is from. And I think if I remember correctly, companies are have a limit of 100. 
100 Space Marines per company, 1,000 Space Marines per chapter. So depending on which company you're in, all the guys in that company are going to have the shoulder pad color. They're all going to have different squad designations, and they're all going to have, or, or uh, yeah, squad kind of designations, and they're all going to have different squad numbers. So for example, if the first company, which has these, I believe, gold-rimmed uh, shoulder pads, if they were to have um, like a first squad here and then a sixth squad, that's kind of how they would mark. They're all they're, they would both be from the first company because they all have the same color shoulder pad rims. They're both assault or I'm sorry, tactical squads. But one is from the first squad and one is from the sixth squad. Moving on, you've got a veteran squad. Veteran marking is this kind of uh, Templar's cross looking uh, symbol here. And the command squad is usually marked out with a skull. So that has always been the codex, I guess, compliant way of doing things. And these go back to the Horus Heresy. We're going to take a look at some, uh, some, some different kinds of variations of them. So these are from the Horus Heresy books. Again, you can see the early markings of... Uh, they were called... Before they were called Devastators, they were called Heavy Support. Here and I decided to pull up the Ultramarines because they are the ones that kind of founded the Codex Astartes, or their Primarch did, Robut Gilliman. So back in the day in 30k, Warhammer 30k, 10,000 years before the current setting, these were kind of what the shoulder pads would look like. For the Imperial Fists, kind of similar. They still had some of the squad markings, but uh, they were a little bit different. And you would see their, I guess, Legion designations on the shoulder pads, their squad numbers. And stuff. So, okay, those are for Legion compliant, or I guess Codex compliant chapters and legions. But what happens to the chapters that are not compliant? These are non Codex compliant chapters. So, we're taking a look at the Blood Angels, the Dark Angels, and the Space Wolves. That's just, this is an overview. These are the three most famous. The Dark Angels, you see here, have the green shoulder pads because their armor is green. Their, um, I guess, first squad or their Terminators are all painted in bone white, so that would be the veterans. And the Space Wolves have very, I guess, like wolf, primal, savage kind of markings of like skulls, wolves, bones, paws, wolf heads. But what we're, like I said, what we're really looking at is the Blood Angels. So for, uh, I guess, an overview, not only do the Blood Angels have different I guess markings on their knee pads here, which we're going to take a look at, but they've also got different colored helmets to mark them out as well. The most common point of fact, taking a look at my assault squad here, is that all the guys in the assault squads have yellow helmets. And so, like, they mark them out by having yellow helmets so that they know that that's, they're in an assault squad. If they are veterans or in their command squad, then they would have gold helmets. That's like an actual uh, gold paint rather than yellow, so it would be nice and shiny to kind of tell who the, the command squad, the HQ squads are. I believe the Devastator squads have blue helmets to mark out that they're the heavy weapon squads, and regular tactical or any other kind of marines would have red helmets. A little bit confusing. Um, the knee pads are also indicative of which kind of squad type they're from. Skull, if uh, on a blue background, if you're in a tactical squad. A yellow lightning bolt on a black background, if you are an assault squad, which you saw me trying to replicate with my janky free hand on my assault squad here. And for a Devastator squad, I believe they had like this black wing on a yellow background. So if you're painting up a Blood Angels army, that's a great thing to know because it's, it's such a subtle small thing and by all means you don't have to be compliant with these markings but that is what makes an army really look interesting and really pop. Here are, is just an, like an example of the different kinds of colors that they would use. Okay, so each squad would break down with I guess a different um, a different kind of marking and that's because in these companies I guess uh, when you look at Codex Astartes and what the squads are supposed to do the first and the second squad are like the veterans, the terminators, third and the fourth squad are the main kind of 
um, tacticals. Fifth and sixth are usually reserved. Seventh and eighth are the assault squads. Ninth and tenth squad are usually the devastators. I think that's how it goes, and that's why they have it broken up like that. Okay, so the last thing I want to talk about are company badges. These guys that I painted up were from the third company. So their marking was a white teardrop, white or silver teardrop on a red background. Depending on which company you were in, you would have all of these teardrop kind of designations on the right shoulder pad. So your left shoulder pad would have the blood angel wing drop, the black wing drop that you're probably familiar with. Some of these guys had, because I used the Death Company kit, they had these different various, I guess, uh, molded colors. But I wanted to do a consistent color scheme with the company. So these guys are all from my my third company army that I did, and that's why they've all got the white teardrop. Now, in order to do that, if you want to do this, then I'm, I believe the uh, Blood Angels has a uh, transfer it has a symbol on the transfer sheet for the space marine transfer sheet i remember what i did was i put on the blood angels transfer sheet and then i cut away the wings and then i i think that was all i needed to do because the 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 drop was white so okay as you can hear it's, it's kind of wild going on in my house i'm gonna have to wrap this video up but david i hope you're happy with this video thank you so much for supporting me on patreon for all of you guys out there I am so stoked because we have just reached our goal, I guess, of hitting the $40 a month limit. And um, so I've, we're up to five patrons on my Patreon here. I'm really, really happy with it. I think Duke's getting yelled at outside. So um, for the next goal, what I'm planning to do if I hit $50 a month is I'm going to be committing to two Patreon-exclusive videos a War Boss Tay White Dwarf Weekly with you and a Morning Motivational Mumbling with Mortarion. I've got a, a couple of them won't get to see these videos. I kind of put them unlisted and then link them up here. It just gives people a little bit more uh, incentive to come here and check it out. And hey, like I said before, I keep saying if you guys want to join in, you can definitely get access to all of these reward tiers for uh, however much of a donation you want to make to the studio. I'm also doing these written kind of reviews and articles here that uh, hopefully prove of interest to people. But yeah, morning motivational mumblings with more caring has been kind of the thing that I'm most happy with recently. All right, that's it for my Blood Angels heraldry and iconography video. I hope you gained something from that. I hope you are entertained and educated on how to paint up your heraldry for your Blood Angels Space Marines. Thanks for